ladies and gentlemen, this is your host, That Creepy Reading, and today we bring you a much requested story known as Rap Rat. As far as I heard, this is another of those lost episodes that I've been doing a lot recently, and hope you enjoy. Also, I am sorry for the lack of videos as of recently. As I can tell, my views have been dropping significantly over the past few days. So, I decided to bring you another creepypasta, a longer one, and a requested one. With that being said, let's begin. Ever heard of Nightmare? Like a lot of other games in the 90s, it came with a VHS which you timed with your play. The characters on a video would give you instructions on what to do while you played the game in real time. Being a scaredy cat, I refused to play it when my mom bought it for us. My brother was disappointed about not being able to play Nightmare, but my mom had a solution. He bought out Rap Rat. It was a cheap, dingy little thing that was catered to kids my age. Uh, you went around the board, collected cheese, and the first player to reach the end would win. It seemed simple enough. And since, you know, kind of reminded us of Mousetrap, a game in which we did not have, there were no objections. We popped in the movie, well, the v into the VHS player, and set up the board. The first part of the video was just a simple explanation of the rules as well as instructions on how the game worked. Then Rap Rat came onto the TV. He was not what any of us were particularly expecting. My brother was the one, well, was only three at the time and immediately left the room crying. The rap did not even resemble the rat that was on the fucking case. The ears were far too big, its mouth had two lined teeth inside and it almost looked swollen. The most striking part about the thing was his eyes. They are large and glossy, fish-like even. I asked, then bothered, then bugged my mom to turn it off. Rap Rat suddenly shouted loudly, screaming and wailing. <laughs> <laughs> Wait your turn! In a demonic, low-pitched tone. It was not at all like his normal, obnoxious, nasally voice. It was in the background, and we could hear the narrator saying, He's Rap Rat. <laughs> He's the boss. Over and over again in this overly serious tone. The video was indescribable. Images cross the screen in quick succession, overcut with Rap Rat's expressionless eyes. The images were things that I was afraid of at the time. Pursing look over a balcony, a hornet slowly stinging someone right in the retina. An extreme close-up of a tarantula. A pit full of raving cobras and a bloody syringe filled with some odd green fluid. We immediately turned off the video and I, I ran into the room screaming, slamming my sh door shut like a little kid I was. It took t my mom 20 minutes to convince me that the video was gone and that I would never have to see it again. I had nightmares all week about R Rap Rat. That wasn't the last time I saw Rap Rat though. While my girlfriend and I were preparing a movie together, I was cleaning out my closet in my room and found Rap Rat again, with the same VHS and same board and same game inside. It was almost perfectly intact, save for a thick layer of cobwebs and dust bunnies on top of it. This is strange. I, didn't my mother get rid of it and what what is the damn game doing in my room i let out of a bit of a gasp and then she laughed a bit asking if this was some sort of weird joke i shook my head and ex begun explaining that it wasn't she didn't believe me nobody did and i decided that the only way to prove it to her was show her the video i borrowed my neighbor's vhs player and played a video for her however the images had changed. It was 
rather surreal and odd to explain this, but I saw a clown, its nose bursting and spraying blood onto his screen. I saw a woman alone in a dark room. I saw a man being forced to pick up a white hot metal and hold it in his outstretched hand. You could see his hand begin to blister and actually fuse with the metal, along with the sizzling noise that his skin made turning his hand into some sort of weird, mutated, leathery mess. Scratching I heard as a child continued, picking up louder and louder. Then Rap Rat showed up and began twisting and convulsing his arms and thrusting in a way that the costume shouldn't have been able to. It wasn't a costume anymore. It looked like real fur. At least it... Had to been some sort of ultra-realistic fucking Chuck E. Cheese monstrosity. Its face wasn't plastic anymore either, but instead, a bristle of thorns of teeth, its eyes turned inward and suddenly popped out again. Rap Rat's huge fist eye, fish, fish-like eyes just suddenly were inside out, staring right into me. Watching my every move, my expression, and everything I did. It grinned widely and gestured at my girlfriend with a single outstretched inhuman hand. I could hear the faintest scratching sound at my door, then the TV went blank and showed static. The scratching got louder. It wasn't scratching anymore, but it was thumping. The thumping of tiny feet against the wood of the fucking door. My girlfriend embraced me in fear. And just then, my senses kicked in. Before anything else could happen, I stopped the video and ejected it, unplugged it from the VHS, and then the scratching stopped. When I looked out of the living room window, there was absolutely nothing there. The police showed up soon after, of course, because what kind of idiot wouldn't call 911 after something like this? Warning us that, well, a neighbor had seen a figure outside of the door and had called in concern. My girlfriend and I simply couldn't explain what happened, and we told the officer that it was simply us. I was furious that a, a fucking child's game was actually terrifying me. I went out to pick up the tape, but the VHS was, well, it was hot. It burned in my hand. It, it, it felt like I touched a Bunsen burner at its hottest setting. We had oven mitts from the kitchen, and that's the way I had to use to take it out. And even then, it was still scorching hot. It, it, you know, when you hold on to something that was really hot with the mitts for so long, it actually starts to hurt on the inside. I then fucking threw it on the floor and, like a sane person, crushed it with my boots. My girlfriend and I had nightmares for almost every night. The faintest sound of scratching seemed to penetrate my ears. I'm unsure if it was caused by my own paranoia or... Something else. We both would often wake up in the middle of the night and describe eerily similar images we saw in our sleep. The scratching would always also be within our dreams. There's no getting away from it. When the lights were off and the room was pitch black, save for nothing but moonlight in the window. Now, though the scratching would happen every time I went near the front door, and every time we said, Rap Rat's name, it would sound as if something very small was dragging something across the ground outside the door. Pacing, waiting, preening. Now it simply wait, with the covers pulled up above my neck, till I succumb to exhaustion. <sighs> At this point, I was determined to sue the company for damages. The first thing I did was call my mother and ask where she got the Rap Rat DVD. She had no idea. She said that I found... She said she had no idea, and I found merchants who sold versions of Rap Rat and asked how I could get in touch with the company. He sent me this email. I don't know about the game, but... I do know it was created by the same people who created a game called Nightmare. The company was called A Couple of Cowboys. Try them! I did a bit more research and discovered that the company became defunct in 1994, only two hour, only two years after the company was cre was created and the game Rap Rat was actually developed. I discovered why they did soon after. 
After quite a bit of research, this is how Rap Rat came to be. In 1992, the year of the game's development, a couple of cowboys had commissioned a manufacturing company in Haiti to create a doll portrayed in the game. The company who per well, created the puppet was ran by a sweatshop, where they forced the women and children to produce various components of the puppets, including a felt and plastic that was used to create the doll. One day, a young Haitian girl got her arm caught in the sewing machine. The spring-loaded loader was unable to handle the weight on the machine and came loose and struck the child in his neck, killing her instantly. Now, here's the interesting part. A few days after the funeral, the mother of the child came to the factory demanding to see the owner, who denied that he had anything to do with it. In a fit of rage, well, according to legend, the mother said that the mother said that the blood from the innocent wouldn't sleep until every crevice of the doll and every component within it that was used to create the doll and all who touched it would die. He claimed to have summoned a fear demon and then screamed at the top of her lungs, Apple Rat will curse you! The owner simply laughed and told his corporate bosses that told his corporate bosses about Apparat. They they spread the joke from person to person, and then the game was eventually renamed from Apparat to Rap Rat. A loose anagram, if you will. Each um Each recitation of the name Apparat brought greater and greater power to the curse. Only two years after Rap Rat was created, the company was forced to shut down, and owners were hired by Mattel. There were stories of these workers begging for days off, skipping for weeks and weeks on end, finding the puppet in strange places. Sooner, there were stories of suicides, grim, violent suicides of workers who would stab their hands and burn themselves to death, writing I am fear on the nearest surface in blood. Nobody knows where the Rap Rat doll was sent after the original creators disappeared. Some say that the last things the victims saw before going insane were large. Sunken in fish like eyes. Now that I've shared with you guys my story and I told you exactly what happened, I feel that words of warning should be enacted. Never, ever say apparat out loud. Saying the demon's name out loud is an invitation to them. It's like a calling, almost like you're ringing on their doorbell, and once you've already done this, it cannot be undone. Do not try to speak or contact the entity known as Apparat, and avoid being awake between 3.30 a.m. and 4 a.m. when Rap Rat is most likely to try and scare you. The reason for this is that 3.30, between 3.30 and 4 a.m. is what's known as the witching hour supposed to be a demonic time where spiritual activity is quite prevalent. Now, why don't I explain the audio? The VHS is back, and I, I thought I stomped on it, smashed it to kingdom come, but it's back. I found it in my sock drawer yesterday. This time, I was ready. A whole bunch of people who had been contacting me was trying to get the tape for some sort of... Was trying to get the tape or some sort of video from the board game. My answer to you is that it's just too dangerous. If, if I did that, I could very well drive you insane, scare you to death, or do something worse than... What those poor people did to those... That Haitian girl. The video and the game of Rap Rat itself has some sort of strange power like a Ouija board. Rap Rat follows me wherever I go. I, I see little shadows out of the corner of my eyes. I hear sounds coming down the hallway. When I'm home alone, I fucking feel its eyes looking at me. 
If Raprat's there, it will let you know. But it will never let you see it. <laughs> Till it's too late, of course. Now, normally I wouldn't do a critique for a story that is so well known such as Rap Rat. But after reading it, I feel that I've came out with a few gripes. Now, don't get me wrong, this story is quite unique and different from your everyday creepypasta, and I see why it scares people. To be quite honest, it's actually really good. The only thing that I could see making this damn thing better would be, um... It's writing is disjointed. It needs more description. It, it simply doesn't have any buildup whatsoever going right into the fear factor of everything. It, it has a good idea. It's just not fully realized. And it, it, it's odd to say this, but to be honest, Rap Rat doesn't get anything more than probably a 6 out of 10 just because the writing is so disjointed. Like... The, the beginning part on the Creepypasta wiki is something that says the terror begins and the guy's like, Ever heard of a game called Nightmare? Well, I got something called Rap Rat, and then he started scaring the shit out of me, dog. Hashtag YOLO, brolo. Which... There's no build-up. It, it, it takes my suspension of disbelief and simply tears it away, making it... Something that... It's it just destroys suspension disbelief without any of the build up. That's why you want build up. You build people up to what you're ultimately trying to do to scare them, and once that build up happens, once that build up happens, your suspension of disbelief is rather high and tolerant of most things. But without the build up there, it simply falls on its face. All the stuff with the guy simply saying, "Oh look, Rap Rat is scaring the shit out of me," and shit dog um isn't scary you know what is scary the story behind rap rat the the history of the game development and the history behind the haitian girl and it, it makes sense and to be honest if i probably looked up apparat i'm pretty sure that would be an actual latin demon name however Again, that's the good part of the story, which is significantly shorter than the more heavily cliched lost episode that we were given. I would say that this story would benefit from a rewrite, and it could definitely use some... Yeah, editing. However, thank you guys for listening for this long, and to be honest, I cannot wait to present to you crappy pasta's tomorrow, so get ready for that shit fest. This has been your host, That Creepy Reading, signing off. The tape is playing, so let's get ready. The TV, the TV is on. Rap Rat may pop up at any point in the game to the sound of a... When he appears and you hear the... You must stop playing at once and listen to him. If he asks you to do something, you must do it. Because he's Rap Rat, and he's the boss. I'm a rat 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 I'm, 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 I'm history in the making, and all yours for the taking. I'm the talk of the town, the cold side of cool. I'm a legend in a lunchtime. I'm a once -er in a lifetime. Got an A in attitude and, and, and lots of gratitude. So it's welcome to my, sh welcome to my show. So, 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 at ease, please, and smile, smile. And everybody say, and everybody say, cheese, cheese. Roden, rah, rah, <laughs> If you're ready to play, I'll be on my way. Who's the oldest? Raise that hand and shout out your name. Okay, let's, let's, let's go.
Rap Rat is a board game that you play with a video.